Did you know that? So basically that refers to the extended king's rule. And this one is defined by me myself and I will like give you uh, proper logics why I defined like this uh, for the way uh, we use to solve this problem. The first problem is pretty common and I do hope you all know that. So basically uh, for this we use king's rule and king's rule is something like this. What happens is integral from a to b of fx dx this is equal to integral from a to b of f of a plus b i'm sorry f of a plus b minus x dx the proof is pretty easy like just make a substitution that uh let's say x is a plus b minus u and this gives you u is also a plus b minus x yeah and that's why uh, a plus b minus a is b a plus b minus b is a and f of a plus b minus u and dx is equals to minus du again minus is used to reflect the integral that gives us integral from a to b of f of a plus b minus u du this proves the king's rule yeah and using this you can easily solve uh, this problem over here so i equals to basically uh, instead of x we can replace it by pi by 2 plus 0 minus x that is pi by 2 minus x so this becomes cos x by cos x plus sin x yeah uh, dx now if we add these two integrals or uh, 2i will just be integral from 0 to pi by 2 of sin x plus cos x by sin x plus cos x that is 1 dx and this is just pi by 2 yeah so that's why we get i equals to pi by 4 yeah. and this is how we solve uh, the first integral by king's rule now in the second integral uh, there is a similar kind of king's rule thing and i will show you the last like how it relates to the king's rule itself but first of all uh, let me like show you like what i mean by extended king's rule so here we made uh, x equals to a plus b minus u yeah okay over here we will make uh, x equals to a into b divided by u yeah or u equals to a b by x yeah and what will happen is the limits will remain unchanged yeah basically if we have let's say a b f x d x just like here here also at last we had the same limit yeah from a to b though it was from b to a I mean like using minus sign we again got a to b and that was helpful because now since both the limits were same we could add these two and that was helpful similarly if we do uh, u equals to a b by x limits will remain unchanged let me show you how so this will basically become b and this will become a and we will have f of uh, a b by u and dx will be minus a b by u square du yeah using minus sign it will again be integral from a to b f of a b by u and then a b by u square du yeah so you see now since these are same we would be able to add them or make any manipulations and that can be helpful let me show you how this is helpful in this problem yeah so we have integral from 1 to 2 of ln of x by x square minus 2x plus 2 dx yeah basically if you use the extended king's rule this will just be integral from 1 to 2 again of ln of 2 by x by uh, 4 by x square minus 4 by x plus 2 and then over here there's 2 by x square dx yeah and so you can see that now this is just 1 to 2 and uh, if you multiply by x square and divide by 2 you get ln of uh, over here ln of 2 minus ln of x and by this will just again be 2 minus 2x plus x square now minus ln x by 2 minus 2x plus x square this is the original integral itself yeah and that helps us a lot so we get i equals to integral from 1 to 2 
ln2 by x square minus 2x plus 2 minus integral from 1 to 2 of ln x by x square minus 2x plus 2. Now the fact that limit was remaining unchanged and we got the same expression helps us. Yeah, because now this can be evaluated, this can be evaluated easily, 1 to 2, because we know that this is just uh, x minus 1 whole square plus 1 square. And this is just now minus i. So we get 2i equals to, this is ln 2, and then tan inverse x minus 1. And at 2, this is pi by 4, at 1, this is 0. So times pi by 4. And i equals to just pi by 8 ln 2. Yeah. So that's why on the extended King's rule helped us to solve this problem. Now let me like show you like how, why I connected with this with extended King's rule. Okay. So basically in Putnam a similar problem had appeared. Yeah. Basically uh, the problem was to this problem uh, we see that this is x minus 1 whole square plus 1 dx. Yeah. Now if we try to let y equals to x minus 1 you get integral from 0 to 1 ln of 1 plus y by 1 plus y square dy. Now this problem was there in Putnam competition. This was. And this is popular. Now, uh, for this one, if you try to let y equals to tan theta, that is theta equals tan inverse y, you get integral from 0 to pi by 4 of ln of 1 plus tan theta. Uh, and over here, uh, by 6 square theta times 6 square d theta. So that's just d theta. Now, to solve this, you need King's rule. The integral where we needed extended King's rule, if we just make a modification, now we need King's rule. So, these two things like are, are like uh, really the somehow like uh, similar because those are anyway needed for a problem. If uh, if a problem needs one thing, uh, like it can be modified and made to need another. So that's why uh, they are somehow similar. Just agree with me. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Now after this, uh, what we will do is we will use King's rule now, and that gives us integral from zero to pi by four ln of 1 plus tan of pi by 4 minus theta d theta. Yeah. And then i calls to integral from 0 to pi by 4. What I feel is this doesn't really suit. Yeah, let me write it properly. Mm. Okay, let me write it properly. ln of 1 plus tan theta d theta. Okay, now this is ln of 1 plus tan a minus tan b by 1 plus tan a tan b d theta. Okay, now, now, it's, now it's easy. Now it's easy. i equals to 0 to pi by 4. This is ln of or 2 minus ln of 1 plus tan theta. And we know that integral from 0 to pi by 4. So here also the fact that uh, after using King's rule the limits remain unchanged uh, does help us. Now this this one over here is ln to pi by 4 and the other one is minus i. So 2i equals to pi by 4 ln 2 and that gives us i equals to pi by 8 ln 2. Yeah. So you see uh, this problem could be solved by both King's rule and external King's rule. Uh, depending upon how and this one also appeared in a competition i forgot the name and this one appeared in putnam now like uh, it's really not obvious like uh, w here like we used ab by u yeah but the extended king's rule like can be used in some other ways too so just for, for example uh, integral if we have integral from 0 to 2 ln of 1 plus x by x square minus x plus 1 dx so here like one important thing was because I use uh, because I had like a b by x here we had minus ln of x here yeah, which was the same thing as in the question. So here here like we need to make a 1 plus x yeah same thing as in the question. So like to, to basically change this uh, we can also use 2 minus x yeah which is like just a part of king's rule like we can make u equals to 2 minus x and it remains unchanged. Yeah, but but like in, uh, after this, uh, the problem, the difficult problem, will still remain like somehow same.
yeah so so for this one what we do is we let u equals to 2 minus x by 1 plus x yeah and even if we do 1 plus x uh, it will still be limits will still be same and here we will also have 1 plus x term and denominator like magically factor like uh, multiplies to give itself and uh, so that's how uh, this is helpful so basically we will have uh, limits from uh, 2 to 0 ln of 2 minus x sorry not not 2 minus x basically now that will be 2 minus x or 2 plus x to ln of 4 i guess yeah 1 plus x plus 2 minus x mm, that's 3 minus ln of 1 plus x now we get the same thing denominator would also be same somehow similar uh, uh, something constant times some this is function itself and uh, over here this one is simplified other is the i itself so you basically have i equals to some easier integral times minus i and that's helpful so basically try to use this technique um, yeah and though i have not extended king's rule over here but uh, there are also other ways and, and it may not always just be a b by u yeah it may be somehow different or different as well the as I, as I showed here, I, I just wanted to note you note uh, about this. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Let's just uh, make a short recap. This was King's rule where we used a plus b minus u. Now this is extended King's rule where we use a b by u. And we solved this problem using extended King's rule, but also with a slight modification. This was the Putnam problem where we used the King's rule, and that also solved it. So that was it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, share with your friends too and look forward to seeing the upcoming videos too.